Hey everybody, got another tip here for you. This one's on a quick and easy method for getting a nice finish on a guitar using no specially no special gear whatsoever. Uh, what you do is you start by shaping your neck. Once you got it all sanded down and ready to stain or paint or whatever, um, I'm going to start with staining and I'll cover paint in a sec. Go ahead and I'm using, I like this stuff, but you can use pretty much anything you want. What I'm doing in this particular method is I'm using Keto Wood dye. It's actually a dye, not a stain. I find that the foam brush works real nice and I just brush the stuff on. Just get, just get your piece wet. Um, normally stains, you would like put it on, let it soak for 10 minutes and then wipe off the excess kind of thing. That's not what I'm doing here. All I do is I just paint it lightly, get it wet, hang it up, let it dry. It takes maybe 30 minutes to dry. That's one coat. Mix this stuff up real, real, real strong and you only need one coat. Um, this is like a, this comes out, believe it or not, this color almost comes out pink. You see that really light red there at the far edge. That's what the first application of this dark of a dye comes out looking like on like you know a maple or something like that some kind of white wood so so yeah it makes it real dark the darker you mix it fewer coats for example like this neck is done in uh, the burgundy uh, that's the red there and this one was like maybe eight coats of dye in order to get it dark enough um, so once you got your stuff stained and for paint you know, same idea, you're going to do your sanding, and then do any, like, your, any, like, Bondo, or, uh, scratch and fill in order to fill in your dents. Can't really do that on a stain, so it's going to have some, you know, a little character to it. But, uh, yeah, you get your stuff all nice and flat, get your ray sand, and go ahead and do your primer. Basically, it's just like painting a car. And so, yeah, you, you sand, you prime. And just like painting a car, if you do a little scuff sand and get everything super smooth between each and every coat, you're going to come out, you know, show car quality paint job. So, do your primer, do your base coat color, and then test ahead of time to make sure that your clear coat doesn't mix, doesn't react with your base coat color. And you're good to go. Put on your, put on your base coat, put on your clear coat. So that's the that's the paint side. So now moving on to your clear coat. You either got your stain or you got your paint going on and you're ready for your clear coat. So these days I'm liking these three. I've tried pretty much everything. Um, these are all oil based. I'm really, I get some okay stuff going on with some of the water based, but you know, a lot of them, they turn white and they're runny and stuff like this. So I'm sticking with these three for now. The, I get good results with this stuff. Basically, you're talking a spray lacquer, a spray enamel, or a spray acrylic. Take your pick. Um, the lacquer's kind of thicker. I mean, the, the lacquer's lacquer, obviously. Um, the enamel tends, tends to be thicker. Uh, the acrylic tends to be thinner. Um, the acrylic actually is really nice to work with. But, you know, lacquer is a classic. Uh, this guitar is lacquer, for example. Uh, this one over here, by comparison, this is, um, this is the enamel. And this is after, this one has been squirted, and then any imperfections, trips, runs, etc. were sanded out. And then any spots where I cut through back into the stain were touched up and then it was squirted with one more coat of clear coat. And it doesn't seem to have any runs, big runs or anything. So this one's going to be ready for sanding and polishing, sanding slash polishing, which is part of this process I'll be describing. But anyway, um, so... So you got your, your paint or your stain going on, and the next step is you squirt with your clear coat. You want to build up enough so that it's safe to sand back without cutting through. I mean, I actually cut through on both of these. Cut through that one there a little bit and this one here a little bit. Excuse me for a sec. Be right back. 